Hey everybody, what's going on? Buddy Blackford here with another CS6 tutorial. And today I want to show you a cool little effect you can use the wiggly selector for, which is like kind of like a hacking or decoding or spy movie type uh, effect where the text is all jumbled up and we're trying to figure out and decode what it is and then eventually it um, shows, it reveals what you're talking, or what the uh, actual text you want to show is. So I'll play a ramp review of it real quick and show you what it looks like. Or whatever's going on with the ramp review. Oh, here we go. So this kind of effect. Uh, I should probably extend it a little more at the end, but basically the the letters just jumble up and then letter by letter we figure out what's going on and what's being revealed and it comes out to be um, what we wanted to say. So I'll show you how to make that real quick. It's not that hard and let's, uh, let's go. So I'll turn this off and we can start writing a new t set of text here. Spy hacking movie title or something like that. I don't know if that makes any sense, but we'll just make this a little bigger so everyone can see it better. And what the first thing we're going to do is twirl down into our uh, text settings. We don't need this transform open. We're going to click on the animate button here. And we're going to go to character offset and what we're going to do is we're going to change this is the random seed for the character offset down here we're going to change that to anything except for zero so it doesn't matter what it is i'll just put 51 for anything so we've got that uh changed right there we're going to also add another one we're going to come to this add button right here and we're going to add selector wiggly and this is our wiggly selector Let's twirl that down, and we've got our wiggle and everything now, so right, it, you can see that this is going to make this um, the letter shuffle and everything like that. So we've got that, and you can adjust these any way you want. The um, there is I made a tutorial on how to use the wiggly selector and all these different properties. If you want to check that out, it's... Uh, probably like one or two tutorials back so just go ahead and check that out so we just needed to add, add that on let's go to our range selector and we're gonna uh, edit the offset here so let's go in and let it do its little wiggly thing here for a little while and then set a keyframe and then at the end here we'll set it to a hundred as you go through on your offset it's going to reveal a number or letter by letter what we want to get revealed. Now you can also set this uh, range selector to um, based on words so that it'll go word by word instead of letter by letter. But that's up to you. So that's how to do that. Let's do a ramp review. So that's the basic of that. It's really easy, actually. Now you may see other people on YouTube trying to put in like scripts and expressions and everything like that. You don't need to use that. You can just do obviously do it the way I showed you and you don't even have to use scripting. So that's pretty much for people who don't really know how to use the uh, animators correctly. So thanks for watching this quick tip and now you know how to create one of those uh, hacking sequences there. So I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial and I'll try to make something cool that we can uh, work on. So see you guys later. Have a good one.